If your team need to perform accurate rotational viscosity on a non-flowing substance like a gel or a paste, then you're going to want to stay tuned for this. Hi, my name is Andre from the John Morris Group. And if you don't want to miss any of our regular content, just subscribe to our channel and push that little bell button right next to it. That way, you'll be notified as soon as we bring you new content. But today, we're looking at viscosity measurement for non-flowing liquids, that is rotational viscosity. And traditionally, that's done using either a cylindrical or disc spindle, depending upon the expected viscosity of the sample. However, when it comes to viscosity measurements of non-flowing materials, such as gels, pastes, creams, or yogurt, the use of a traditional R or L spindle gives artificially low results, and that's because material slips away from the spindle, creating air cavities, resulting in partial measurements only. The problems associated with non-flowing materials can be overcome by using a special type of spindle called a T-bar spindle. Now this spindle has a specific geometry to work with these types of materials, and when used in conjunction with a drive unit called a HeliPro, the diffuscometer moves vertically up and down at a desired speed to ensure the sample keeps consistent contact with the spindle, thus avoiding the formation of cavities during the measurement. Lamy's new HeliaPro system is especially designed for viscosity of measurement of these exact non-flowing samples. The complete setup comprises of a set of six T-bar spindles in a carry case with a holder for the T-bar spindles. And it also includes a motor stand and drive unit like this one right here. The engineering on this product is absolutely amazing. Um, they've gone out of their way to produce something which is incredibly rugged and robust and has all manner of nice little features. So these are the six uh, spindles and the, and the chuck. And you can see the chuck is, again, a beautifully machined um, all metal component. And the T piece goes in the top like this. And then you just tighten it. And like all of the Lamy viscometers, it has an easy to put in, click into place adjustment. I just wanted to show you a couple of features about this though. You've got so many ways that you can actually adjust this heliopath stand. Uh, I love the fact that on the side here, you've got an adjustment so that you can make sure that wherever you set the bottom of this particular unit, it won't contact with the bottom of your sample jar. Now that's really important for um, these kinds of measurements because you don't want the bottom of the T-bar to actually ever touch the bottom of the sample measurement jar. Plus on the back, you've also got these little, little lugs that are adjustable so that you can set the maximum height and the minimum height. And it's got these little micro switches right here, which you can see, and that tells it when it reaches the top and when it reaches the bottom. So as soon as the micro switch on the top or the bottom make contact with the top or the bottom limiting position, the Helio Pro stand will reverse its direction. It doesn't look like it's moving that quickly, but it actually is. It's moving at the defined agreed method speed. And you can get an idea that it is moving. If you look closely here, you'll see this is getting narrower. And as soon as the micro switch contacts with the top limiting position, which is completely adjustable, you'll hear it click and it'll change direction. There she goes. The new Helio Pro system from Lamy is compatible with almost all of the Lamy viscometers and rheometers, but it cannot be used with the cone and plate versions for obvious reasons. Now, you'll find a link to all of the details and specifications about the new Helio Pro system below, but if you have any specific questions or comments about this product or indeed anything else from our range, you can leave a comment in the section or you can go straight to our website and engage in our live chat so we can get right back to you. Now, if you like the content we produce, feel free to hammer that thumbs up button or share our content with colleagues who you think might find it helpful. Don't forget, John Morris is here to help you succeed with technology. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.